Hello everybody, welcome to NJ Cali Gardening Family. I'm super excited y'all because we are locked and loaded. This is a Candy Bay Raspberry, a great raspberry for you new home backyard orchards. Those who are wanting to grow a raspberry in your home back orchard, get you a Candy Bay Raspberry. Or you can also get that um, uh, raspberry shortcake, I think it's called, the shortcake variety that's a um for containers that's a bush type those two are the best such as the one right here now this one is actually ready to be picked look we're locked and loaded with fruit already Woo! we have had this variety since our winter of two, late winter of 2018-19 um when we purchased our raspberry and a tree sleeve Okay, just like I had um, grew, I purchased our blueberries. I did the same thing with the uh, with the raspberry here. One thing um, what you want to do when you purchase ras any type of raspberry, any type of um, berry, or any type of uh, fruit tree, especially when it's in five gallon containers, you want to go ahead and pot it up into a twenty to a twenty five or forty five gallon container. There's a difference. The reason why we waited this long is because we had grew ours in a tree sleeve. And with the tree sleeve, it's not even a gallon, okay? So instead of us going from a tree uh, a, a tree sleeve to a one gallon container, we immediately potted it up into a five gallon. The roots took over and now it was it was time. It took only one year to go and say, let me make the big decision and pot it up into a 20 gallon grow bag. Now, one thing about blackberries, raspberries, they have vigorous roots, meaning that they like to intertwine, tangle up, and do all this type of dancing, you know? So it is best to go to make sure when growing in a 20 to a 45 to a five gallon container, um, especially if you wait, prolong it in a five gallon container, you wanna go ahead and snip, snip, you know? Cut back the root system, but be careful. Do not do it as when it's ready to be harvested wait until the, the raspberry go dormant then go and cut cut snip snip you know and not tip tip okay a great thing to do also is to tip prone tip tip snip snip you want to go ahead and tip you know to bring out more uh leaf growth and fruit production in the future even when it's actually ready to be harvested okay guys how do NJ Cali Gar and family, how do we feed our raspberry? We feed it um, with a fruit tree fertilizer. You can also opt out and use a uh, berry and vine um, fertilizer, such as EB Stones, they, they sell it. If you can't find that, I'll suggest that you use a fruit tree fertilizer. We, go, we give our raspberries um for uh feeding every four to six weeks in the growing season because this is ready um for us in mid-may we kind of a little bit we kind of um back off a little bit a, a, a month and we wait it off as as they are um, ready to be picked and then we get another feeding after we harvest all our berries that's the way we have done it last year and we did it this year okay um another thing you can feed it it's a lot of compost it loves compost 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 whether it's the um food scraps from your home and you do a trench method which is digging a hole or and put it in the ground that way or in a container or just actually have your compost already ready for you from a bag perspective and you go and dump layer it on top that's the great way and we also give it earthworm castings it is the bomb.com you can't go wrong with compost and airport castings if you don't want to use the fruit tree fertilizer. We recommend that you would give it fish fertilizer at bi-weekly and seaweed extract bi-weekly. You can mix the two together and do it at the same time. When you do it in a soil drench or foliar spray, when you wet the leaves first, then you use a foliar spray with the mixture in it and then uh, soak the leaves. In the morning, early morning, before the sun comes up, or when the sun is, is is not existing anymore, what they call sunset, that is the best time to go ahead 
and foyer spray not in the afternoon when the sun is out and it's beaming like 100 degrees outside like it was today or actually above 100 because it's actually 100 and uh 10 degrees okay in certain areas especially in my zone zone 9b here in the central valley so yes we hit a hit we hit, we hit a high um record we hit a new record a heat wave that was crazy for the last three days but yesterday was the worst uh in my location here it was 111 degrees yeah in the afternoon when i woke up this morning to go to work it was 74 degrees and that was what I ain't gonna tell you what time that was, but it was early up before the sun came up. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, this is NJ Kelly Garden and Family. We thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share, share, share. Follow us on our Instagram page. And thank you to every new subscriber who has been um, subscribing to our channel. Grow you a raspberry bush. You will be. You will not be disappointed. If you, um, there are all different types of raspberries, guys. There's red. There's white. There is yellow. There's the gooseberries, blackberries, boysenberries. Boysenberries are one of the best. But anyway, that's not the one I want to talk about. But go ahead and go get you one, okay? And we will see you in the next one. Peace.